season as we've been talking about, but it's mm -hmm. also peak trunk or treat season That's two. That's right. So all hour long, we'll be telling you about different trunk or treats that are happening all across the 517. So this way, you and your children have a very fun and exciting way to celebrate. Claudia is outside right now to tell us about a trunk or treat that is happening over in Grand Ledge. Claudia, tell us a little bit about this uh, story that you're a hey. part of. Hey, you guys, we all remember what it was like bef the weekend before Halloween. You know, we were all so stoked to get that candy. Candy was definitely on the brain, but you know, this weekend, kids have a chance to get in on the candy before Halloween, which is so cool. And I'm here with Corinne or at Little Bo Peep, who's gonna share how we can get in on that candy too. So first off, you look fantastic, Little Bo Peep. Thank you so much for being here. And all of your friends look fantastic as well. But you know, let's kind of dive into that first off. What is trunk or treat and what makes a good trunk or treat? So trunk or treat for us, um, we are a church and we do trunk or treat for our neighbors, families of the community, um, anywhere, anyone that wants to come is welcome to come to our trunk or treat. Um, we have lots of creative people who like to dress up in their costumes and do their trunks. Some go all out and some are very simple. Um, we like to, we just have a lot of fun seeing the kids dressed up. It's a safe place to come. Um, we will have um, donuts made on site. Our pastor is a really good donut maker. Um, and then we'll have fresh popcorn being made as well. We have some businesses who have donated um, apple cider, um, Farm Bureau, Nick Cypher Agency donated all the apple cider. Meyer of Grand Ledge donated some candy, um, discount tire in Delta Township has donated candy as well. So there's lots of, it's a community um, event, all of the people coming together to do this for, for the families of our community. So. Oh, absolutely, that's amazing. And when you guys say trunk or treat, you really emphasize the treat part of that. But, you know, talk to me a little bit about this theme you've got going on over here. Um, you did a Toy Story theme, which is really cool. How did you come up with this inspiration? So my son actually um, kind of picks our theme every year. He's almost four. His birthday is kind of Aww. around the time of Halloween as well. So we kind of ask him, what do you want for your birthday theme to be? And we kind of go with that. So he wanted to be Buzz Lightyear um, this Aww. year for Halloween. And so we're doing his birthday party that as well. And then I have a four month old and she's my sheep. And then my husband is um, Woody as well. So, oh, that's yeah. so <laughs> sweet. All right. So where can people get in on the fun this weekend? So we are at the Grand Ledge Church of the Nazarene. It's um, right down the road from um, Fitzgerald Park. And we are, it's 3432 Jefferson Highway. And we have about 20 cars, um, 20 trunks and different other activities. We have a photo booth and other things there as well, so. Oh, wow, perfect. All right, so full weekend, full parking lot. And um, well, thank you so much for being here, Little Bo Peep. We really appreciate it. Um, and we'll have, of course, all of that posted after the show, but thank you so much. Now stick around because there are more trunks and more treats where that came from.